On today's episode, we'll be discussing how to overcome and deal with different types of heartbreak. Hmm. everyone. Welcome to Talk This Today. I'm Namita. And I'm Stephanie. And on today's episode, we'll be discussing what heartbreak is and how do we deal with it. I mean, everyone knows what heartbreak is. And it doesn't <laughs> matter whether you're 16, 30, or 65. Whenever you experience heartbreak, it feels, it feels, it feels like the end of the world. Exactly. Right? The grief yeah. one feels when your heart breaks is terrible. It's so intense. We get this like intense distress, extreme emotional pain, and it feel like it leaves us completely shattered. I mean, I know it makes me completely shattered. And it truly feels hard to bounce back and feel normal again. I personally think heartbreak, heartbreak, like no matter what age or how often one experiences it it really feels like the end of the road. And I I know I was 16 when I cried. I was 20 when I cried. I cried when I was 20. And the tears <laughs> seem to And I'm, as you get older, the only thing is the judgment in your head goes, what are you doing? You're too old for this. But no, you're not, right? Yeah. There's so Like, it's so difficult. And there's so many ways to get our heart broken. No amount of tears can make us feel better. I That's my opinion. I mean, well, when it's- we're going- it's it's like somebody just smashed you on the face and you just you just numb to things, you know, you just can't feel anything. It just that kind of a feeling. That's right. Numbness. I forgot Numbness. about that. Oh yeah. gosh. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. It's it's so depressing, Simrat. It's very dis- depressing. And you know, such a cocktail of emotions. You feel depressed, lonely, and you feel rejected, you know, all mixed together, right? And right. There are so many ways ones get their heart broken. The, I mean, one is the obvious one, which is romantic heartbreak. Absolutely. There's loss. There's a loss of best friend or loss of trust, loss of a job, and death. And you know, all these sorrows result in some form of heartbreak, and it feels like the end of the world. Actually, even massified with a loved ones leaves your heart broken. Right. So since, you know, this is such a painful experience. So Stimrit and me have come up with some tips and ideas to help you cope up or deal with this, you know, while protecting your emotional and mental health simultaneously. Yeah, because that's the important part, right? That's how we know we're dealing with the heartbreak. Yes. So, okay, so we thought about this. So in my opinion, one of the first things is to allow yourself to feel your emotions. Allow yourself to go through the waves, right? It's normal to feel this wide range of emotions, such as sadness, anger, and like Navita said, even numbness after heartbreak. But it's it's really important to give yourself permission Feel these emotions without judgment or guilt. That's yep. the important part. Yeah. You should not need validation or judgment from others. What are you doing? What is this? Who cares? No, allow yourself that. You need it. You're allowed to feel whatever you want. It's your heartbreak. So I know. Yourself, right? I know. And you know, at times it's like, oh, if you cry now, then I'll walk out of the room and do this, you know, just emotional manipulation that happens. Don't cry. Don't yeah, not a don't single tear. Don't allow that emotional manipulation. Exactly. Great word, Namika. Don't yeah. allow that emotional manipulation. Yes. Allow yourself that. Yeah. So allow yourself that day in bed or a day of grieving without feeling, or a few days of grieving without that, few days in bed. Don't say to yourself, remember that inner voice. Don't say, why am I doing this? I shouldn't. What will people say? None of those words are should be allowed. And none of that's important. Your heartbreak is your emotions. Deal with them the way you want. Go through the process. It's a journey. Take time to grieve. Don't say, okay, I'm going to cry for two days. I'm getting up. We're human, dude. We're not robots. Artificial intelligence hasn't reached that far. <laughs> We're not robots. Yeah. Grieving is an important part of the healing process. So allow yourself 
yourself to cry, you know, and then allow yourself to wallow in that sorrow. Talk to a therapist, give yourself time and space to process your emotions and reflect on the relationship, right? Yes, absolutely. Keep crying, but keep yourself hydrated <laughs> as much <laughs> as you want. That's my part. So okay, right. even I tell it, anybody who's crying, keep a glass of water with you. Cry as much as you want. Yeah, roll it, but you know, drink some water. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's funny. Also. <laughs> and you know, feel no shame in wanting to contact professionals like therapist yeah. or counselor to help you deal with the, your emotions. It's absolutely yeah, fine. And that's always important, you know. So my tip is to focus on self-care. That would be my first tip. You take care of yourself physically, emotionally, mentally. So that's what I say always, you know, hydrate yourself, keep hydrating. Eat nourishing food, get enough sleep, exercise regularly and practice relaxation techniques like yoga or meditation, anything, anything that you feel like. You know, self music therapy. Oh, my favorite yes. is music therapy. Put music. on the sad songs, cry, but listen to the music. Exactly. You know, and also I feel self-care can help you feel more grounded and calm during these difficult times. So this self-care can be, you know, as you mentioned, listen to the music or watch movies or Netflix or binge watch, anything that you want to do. But along with that, take care of physical health. That is very important. And yeah, eat as much chocolates as you want, but eat nutritious food as well. So that is, that is always, balance. exactly, yeah. balance it. So yeah. yeah, put on your AirPods or go out for a walk or run. So being surrounded by nature always help, is helpful in, you know, in some form of like healing, you know, it's, it's you know, nature you're, yeah, that, healing, right? You're right. Because like, even when you go to these spas and stuff, even if they're in cities, they make sure it's surrounded with greenery. And so being surrounded by nature in like, let's say, of course, imagine this guys, a forest surrounded by trees, listening to your favorite music. This is therapy by itself. Yeah. It will naturally the pheromones start working and your heart feels uplifted it will make everyone feel better so try it out i mean we're not saying stop grieving but do these little do self-care in that way yes um i think my tip is that surround yourself with support and by that i mean like supportive people Spend right times with friends and family who love and support you right, right. absolutely think, yeah and don't feel shy to lean on them for emotional support and to help you stay distracted sometimes from the pain of the breakup, you know, in, in the worst type of heartbreak for some is like death. And that's why we have people coming over all the time because distraction in any kind of heartbreak is really important. So to help yourself, do lean on your family and friends, speak to them from your heart, whatever's in your heart. Speak it out. Don't feel shy or humiliated. No emotion is disallowed. No emotion is unvalidated. You're allowed. If they're being judgmental, find a new friend, support groups, call us. Find them out. <laughs> find other family members who can truly let you be. Don't expect yes. them to be yes men and like always say, yeah, yeah, you're right. No, they'll be honest, but they don't need to be judgmental. There's a big difference between like rational and honesty compared to judgmental. So yeah. Judgmental. Nobody needs to put you down. But yeah, they can be honest that, you know, we saw the warning signals, but we wanted you to be. That's okay. That's not judgmental. And you know, so take it yeah, you're absolutely right. Sabrit. And remember, true friends will be honest. And, yeah. you know, and they will not judge you. It's I have another tip. Sometimes, and a lot of couples do. Do you, I, I have to sometimes tell them, listen, I just want to vent. Don't say anything. So just <laughs> let me talk. Tell your friends that, listen, I just want you to be supportive. Tomorrow you be rational with me. Today just be supportive. And yeah. that should work. So, yeah. Uh, no, that it, it works actually. It always works. So I think another helpful way to deal with heartbreak is to set certain goals and make plans for your future. 
So it's like your mind should be distracted. So in case of a like loss of a job or loss of a business, you can start thinking about like next steps, updating your resume. Think about uh, maybe shifting careers or going in different directions. Yeah. And in case of romantic or personal heartbreaks, try to make some plans, do something which you have not done before in a relationship. Right? So maybe meet some new friends or try some new restaurants, party, whatever. I mean, you just have to do different things. And this can give you yeah. something to look forward to and help you stay motivated. Absolutely, absolutely. So it's so important to look towards the future, isn't it? Yeah. Don't give yourself a deadline, like, but allow yourself to slowly be able to start thinking positively and remember that heartbeat is like a natural part of life. And yeah. although it feels overwhelming in the moment because you're in this, like the glass, the ceiling is shattered on you, but also remember that eventually you are going to heal and move on and it feels like forever, but it's going to happen. So Allow yourself to think positively as well. Yeah. Take things one day at a time. Make plans for the future, but you don't have to move to the future today. Be gentle with yourself. We always talk, about, like I, I mentioned it earlier right, in this episode, that we talk about our inner voice. Keep that inner voice kind towards yourself. We're yeah. so kind to others. Sometimes with ourselves, we're the ones being judgment. We're like, Step out of it. No, be kind to raise yourself. Say, you know what? I gave a lot in this relationship. I worked hard in this career. I was so attached to this person. Allow yourself to do that. And yeah, and similarly, at times, you know, when you're feeling maybe happy in that, maybe there's a sad situation or something heartbreak happened, but you you felt happy about something. You tend to start feeling guilty. Oh, how, you know, it's yeah. like, how can you do that? Yes. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. How can you be happy? Oh, just a, you know, I just had a heartbreak or something. And how can I be happy? How can I smile? Oh, I shouldn't so be smiling. I, I, yeah, you know, even I lost my dog. I shouldn't be partying. There's no thing shouldn't allow yourself to do whatever. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So the takeaway today is in case you do have to deal with heartbreak, remember to allow yourself to feel those emotions and grieve. Don't feel shy asking for support from friends, family, and professionals. Always remember to take care of yourself. Your physical and mental well-being should be priority number one. And always go one day at a time. Gently start looking to the future. Remember to allow yourself to let go of the pain once it feels natural to you. Absolutely, absolutely. And guys, this is no lecture, no young. These are yeah. the tips from our own experience. So, yes. Yes. <laughs> I a lot of heartbreak. I mean, there yeah, are stories of heartbreak. <laughs> That's an endless story. So, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yes. I guess so. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you. That's so, all on practice today. So we hope none of you ever experience uh, any heartbreak. So when you do, I hope our tips would help you out in navigating through those emotional state of mind and, you know, that should help you. And we all, you know, we always look forward to hearing from you all. So if there is anything that you like about our show, do let us know in the comment section or email us at hello at doctorstoday.com and let your friends know where to find us. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to stay notified of our new videos every Friday at 6 p.m. Also, don't forget to follow our podcast podcast on Spotify named Talk to Us Today. We also would like to thank uh, all our Be For You listeners for tuning in and hearing us uh, every week. Thank yep. you for joining us on Talk to Us Today. Remember to talk about Talk to Us Today. <laughs> Keep smiling. Keep laughing. And most importantly, always, always keep talking. Keep talking. Thank you guys for joining us. Bye. See you guys next Friday. Bye. Thank you.